Today, I want to talk about guest speaker from Relativity Fest 2022. Now, I know it's been a while. It's been like over six months probably by now. Uh, this video was on my to-do list and it kind of got pushed down. So I want to talk about it now because I think it's still kind of an interesting topic. So they had this guest speaker, uh, Dr. Timnit. I can't pronounce her name. Her name is more difficult to say than mine. So I'll just put that on the screen. And so she talked about ethical AI. And there are some things that I agree with her, some things I don't agree with her, and some things I'm kind of questioning. So I'm going to put that as a question to you. So let's find a nice place where we can sit down and talk about ethical AI. Actually, everything is really wet, so we will not be sitting down. So her overall point of presentation was ethical AI and that AI technologies we develop and use can be biased. And this is something I'll agree with her. How did we get to this? Why technology could be biased or why are we having issues? Well, AI is like any tool that we created. You know, whenever you build a new tool, something cool and interesting, you're always looking for ways to apply it. Like, what can we use this for? Can we use it for this? Can we use it for this? Can we use it for that? And you just try it like on everything. And in the process of trying it on everything, there may be certain things it shouldn't be used on. It's like that quote from uh, Jurassic Park. You know, the scientists were so preoccupied with whether they could, they forgot if they should. And so, uh, same idea here. We were just trying to apply AI to absolutely everything and see where it works. Now, if the results of it, you know, if you try something and the results are like, eh, okay, not a big deal, work or it didn't work, well, it's okay to experiment with. But if the results of it could affect people's lives, well, then maybe that's not something you should experiment on and that's where technology should be uh, proven and make sure it works before you apply it to something that could affect people's lives. One way AI can be biased if it has been trained with bad data. We know this in our lit support workflows, right? If we train our AI model with a bad data set, we're gonna get bad results. Well, we're gonna, going to scrap the model and we're gonna do it over with different reviewers or something like that. Uh, but what about in the case of uh, when AI decides uh, sentencing in court, you know, how many years person supposed to serve in jail based on what AI model decides. Well, it could be a big problem there because you don't know what data was used to train that model. And interesting example was if you go online and you search for an image of a, a gang member, right? Well, the results are going to come up pretty racially biased. And those images could have been used to train that model. And so now it may give a higher, uh, you know, higher sentence to people with certain bias than other people. And the thing about AI is that it's a black box. Once you train it, you don't really know what's going on in there. No one can go back and kind of reverse engineer and figure out why decisions were made or if the model is good or bad you need to put sample data in and try to get results out to see if it's doing a good job. But it is a black box and you don't know what's going on in there. An interesting example of that was a recent article where doctors would supply x-ray images to AI system that they've pre-trained. And the AI system was able to determine people's race based on an x-ray image. And no one knows how it's doing that. Uh, humans can figure that out. They don't know what traits are being applied, but the AI system is able to guess that with like 90% accuracy or something like that, the race of a person by looking at an x-ray image. So it's clearly a black box and no one knows how it's doing it. And maybe we'll figure out uh, if there are certain traits, but maybe not. Now, something that I'm not really in agreement with is her saying that certain AI technologies shouldn't exist. And what she brought up is saying, okay, well, when we do facial recognition, we can determine gender of a person. And that is insensitive to transgender people. Well, yes, that's true. 
but think of um, different application of this technology. Let's say you have um, surveillance f footage, you, know, you have surveillance pictures or videos, maybe it's they taken from um, a certain area and there were hundreds of people who passed through and now you have a witness who needs to identify a person that showed up and now you have all the pictures of all the people that are captured from that intersection or block or something like that and what we can do is just hit a button and says okay give me all the male give me all the female you know and then that person has to look at half the pictures than they had to do it before so that seems like a really good use of gender identification technology, even though it may be insensitive, uh, it still would cut down on a lot of work by a witness who doesn't have to go through all of the pictures. So this is something I'm not sure if I'm agreeing. Uh, I could totally understand that, that this technology may be insensitive, but I also don't think it should be thrown out and never be used. Now let's talk about something I am in disagreement with her. and. It's not actually AI related, but she was talking about social media, different networks, and she made a statement that Reddit is the worst social media network that's filled with garbage and hate and the worst things on the internet. And oh my God, I could not disagree more with her on that. It is absolutely opposite. I love Reddit. Reddit has the best content of every social media network. The way they have channels set up, they are organized by topic, they're moderated, and they have a great upvoting system where the best content floats on top. Just install Reddit app and don't even sign up for anything. Just start looking through like everything that pops up on top. Everything from like Ask Reddit to, you know, just weirdest topics. And it's going to be the best uh, content you will ever come on the internet. Speaking of moderated content, I actually happen to be a moderator at one of the channels called eDiscovery on Reddit. And it is a great place to ask questions just in case you didn't know about it. Uh, there isn't even a whole lot of moderation that needs to happen. Um, but if you have questions about eDiscovery or anything like that, come to Reddit, eDiscovery channel, and ask your questions. Sometimes I go there to answer questions, but people already answer before I get there. So I kind of feel like I'm always behind and there are all these great answers there. Any questions you have, come and ask there. And I guess I do need to say what is the worst social media network in my opinion, and that would be Twitter. All right, Twitter's been basically just a toilet, just absolutely horrible place for anything. And this is even before Elon Musk took over. No matter what I do, politics creeps into my feed, all this, hate and I, Twitter is the worst. Um, Reddit is the best. Uh, if you want to rate some others, Facebook for your family stuff, LinkedIn is for business. Uh, that's kind of how I put it. And then you can do your Instagram for photography, which is actually really ter terrible for photography to begin with, but that's probably going to be a discussion for a different time. I think we can all agree technology that is biased has no place in our society. We should not be using those AI systems. But what about technology that is useful, but possibly insensitive? Should we be throwing that out as well? Or maybe there is another way to present the results? I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow on LinkedIn, subscribe on YouTube, and I will see you on the video. All right, I'm over here looking for a beaver but this is the biggest animal I was able to find so far. It's a chipmunk. And the reason why I'm looking for a beaver is because of all the trees over there that are eaten by, seem like to be a beaver.